All right, guys. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I'm Chilled Roots, and I'm glad you're able to keep up with the series and join me once again. I wonder if this game has uh, DLSS options. NVIDIA DLSS, yes, quality. We'll turn on the DLSS because I never checked this, actually. We'll do that because it'll allow it, it'll allow it to render the graphics a lot faster. Yeah, I did this. I checked this with um, Cyberpunk uh, last time. Recently, actually. And yeah, the graphics were really, really good. I actually turned on V-Sync uh, and Cyberpunk. And because of all the action that it has, it actually makes the image a lot crisper whenever you're moving around. Cool. All right, let's resume the game, guys. I mean, I have no idea where I'm at now. But I do remember we met up with the Gaith, right? It's been a while. What's wrong? Oh, I was about to say, I'm like, they, we can't go in? Emerald Grove. I hope everything's okay still around here. Where's Damon? Here. Here he is. I don't think I've ever seen him. Did we talk to him? Let's talk to him. Thought I sensed an inferno around here, but you aren't from Elturel. What's your Elturel? I spent a good bit of time in the hells, enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zarya. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And. You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little yep. gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. I really like Karlak though. As a character. And I don't even know her that much. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. <laughs> You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help. I'd need infernal iron and a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That hmm. thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn huh. down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Oh, wow. Mm, where should we look for the infernal iron? Our travels. It has a, a pull to it. Absolutely magnetic. Once you know what you're looking for, hmm. I can show you where I'd look. Be my guest. We'll keep our we'll keep we'll keep our eyes open. <laughs> what is that? Scale mail? Mail? Scale mail? That actually looks pretty cool, though. This one. Scale mail plus one. One less slashing damage, disadvantage on stealth checks, the work of a skilled AC bonus from dexterity limited to plus two. I kind of like that one. It's, it seems like an upgrade from what we have. I'll buy that one. There's nothing really there. All right, cool. Open this one. Let's see. Nothing really there. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. Board. All right, we got the new. Forge from the hub. Nice. Let me check the inventory. We'll do that one. Damn, look at Geralt. Nice. <laughs> I am uh, white or gray. Equipped by Karlak clothing. She can equip mine, right? 
She can. Now she's good. Alright. Nice. Okay. What the heck is going on here? If I may ask. What happened? I'm ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. Alright, don't you dare lay a finger on the child. Let's see what happens. You're the one making threats to a child, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? Nice. Alright, let's continue. You don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He got the hell for this. These little devils get away with everything because of cuddly bastards like you. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see He's an elf. Maybe you will. But personally, I doubt it. See you around. Alright, hold up. Let's follow him up. See where he's going. He's going in the... <laughs> he's going inside that cave. What are you talking about, Toron? Toron. We're cornered in this place. Even the bloody druids look like they might turn on us. Oh, they will. Let's screw you over. Blighted village, the Hellion's heart. Oh, here it is. Find infernal iron. Let's check it out. Ah, oh, fuck! I remember this. This is where the spiders are. <laughs> Let's save. Fuck these spiders. Let's see what happens here. Whoa, oh. oh. Come on, Karlak, come on. What? Examine. Cracked wall. 10 out of 10. Alright, cool. Let's get over here. Let's get back. Let me figure out a way to... Take it. Fuck yeah. Look at that. This is why Baldur's Gate is Baldur's Gate, man. Let's get in there. A wooden chest. <sighs> fuck. What the fuck just happened? Is that a trap? <gasps> High close blueprints. What is it? Read. Precise arcs and neatly drawn lines form the blueprints of three weapons, a great sword, a sickle, and a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page, emphasizing an unusual ingredient, scissor bark. The scissor bark can only be applied to an ordinary unmodified blade. Alright, we gotta jump over there. Yeah. Lockpick. Still couldn't. Oh, I guess we could. Oh, yay. Okay. Oh, we got Infernal Iron. Oh, that's the shit. Blacksmith's note. Read. Specimen metal. Hardness 9.5. Unknown. Silver. Red. Lacerations. Flecked with yellow dust. Source the Underdark. Gift from redacted. Faintly sulfuric odor. Forging unsuccessful. Will not melt or warp at standard temperature. 
Alright, let's take all this shit. That's awesome. This can help Damon patch up my engine. Heck yeah, girl. Heck yeah. Alright, let's take all. Good. Oh, we could have come through here too. Oh, I see, I see. It's just another way in. Pick. <laughs> Inspiration. I still didn't get it. Fuck you. Roll again. I hate that I need a staring for everything. <laughs> He's a beast. Used a thief stool. <sighs> Smell that fresh forest air. Fresh forest air. I smell oh, the blighted village. The fear of cowards lying in wait for an ambush. Oh. Uh, you can take a day off once in a while, Lazel. Let's see if we can get um. I don't know how much. How much did he mention? Like how much iron? I don't think he mentioned. I don't think there's like. I think it's just one, right? Hopefully. Let's go back to him and see if he can fix work. Damn it. Let's go, bro. Fix rope. How fast the search? I found the inter the in the internal. The infernal iron. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. I can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. Fuck. And I think. <laughs> She's so happy. There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of need. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell as whole, but I feel less... Changeable? Changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted... A coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have Baldur's Gate. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way. Hmm? Okay. What I wouldn't do for best tools. Looking for steel. I have, well, something close. Steel. Let me see your horse. Your horse. We sell some stuff. All right, let's get out of here. All right, Carlac. What's up? <laughs> Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down. But it did Choose you up. Me up. I don't think I've ever felt more really? powerful. We'll find more infernal iron. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. No problem. Let's find you something to burn then. That's what I like. <laughs> Let's drop. Standing still is making my All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can um go fuck up Aunt, Auntie Nettle. Auntie Nettle. Let's get out of here. Positioning. It's safe. Cuz I want to I want to long rest, but I, I also want to kill these guys. Go Lazel. You go, girl. Critical miss. Wow. Come on, girl. 
<laughs> you had him in your sights. Ah, oh, fuck, did I get laser? Damn it. She always, what is she doing? What is she gonna do? What is she gonna do? What is she gonna do? Ooh, they're all blinded. Awesome. Nice, he dropped the weapon. Alright, let's heal. And the turn. Oh, there's more guys. Oh no. There's another guy here. Whoa, bloodlust on recap. What is that? Yeah, let's do it. Fuck! Come on, Geralt. Don't be an idiot. Shield of Faith. There you go. Nice. It's actually pretty rough. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Beautiful. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Keep messing with him? Okay. Jump behind him. And turn. He missed me twice. Poison. 10. Beautiful. It's three points. I ah, will fuck him up like that. Nice. Alright, where's this fucker? Saved. Hold the person. <laughs> I'm walking and then jumping up. Up top. <laughs> I'm jumping above. Like behind him. I guess I can't do that, right? 80%. more percentage see if it works radiating orb we'll do the pummel strike nice <laughs> nice are there any more more of these little bitches A short rest Let's jump over here. Are you able to jump here? Letter from M. Read. The letter begins in an elegant cursive but ends in a harsh sloping crawl. scroll. Ethel, forces are at work in Baldur's Gate. The mewling wretches are trying to edge me out of my own territory. I've killed at least four of their agents. None have talked, not yet at least. I doubt you hear anything beyond the bleeding of your ridiculous sheep. But if you catch even a whisper, send word immediately. M. Steal. Neutralize the effects of all poisons. Oh, beautiful. Let's take it. <laughs> See what happens if we talk to her. She's pregnant. The cheekiest pop of them all. You best have one hell's of an apology for me, young man. Um, you must have mistaken me for someone else. I did, dearie. And frankly, you're thick for saying so. 
You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. What's wrong? Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. That's Marina? I have some bad news for her. Keep that hole under your nose shut. Or things will get messy. What is it? What's going on? Uh... Auntie Ethel killed your brothers? No, nothing. I mistook you for someone else. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. So bland and forgettable. What? No, she does. Her face. About what you told me in the call. You're just a regular problem. It must be an awful thing to have that hanging over your head. Or in it, rather. Let me take care of that for you. Nah, it's okay. Why didn't you remove it at the grove? If you have this power, why didn't you remove it at the grove? I didn't need those druids in my business. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? I know a devil that's offered to remove it. Spare me. Blathering windbags in love with the sound of their own voices. I'm the safer bet. Plus, you'll get to keep your soul. <laughs> You never get to keep her soon. Depends on the price. Well, that depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. Oh dear. What? You don't have one to spare. Totally no. sorry, Petal. But no deal for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know someone with two eyes in their head and a regular problem, send them my way. And she will sort them out. Because I'm by myself. Come now, Marina. Time to go. Wait. Don't waste a step. Can't slow down. Where's she going? So now we can just peruse around her house, steal everything. But what about Marina? Where is she? All right, now forget this. I gotta, I gotta kill her. Well, let me talk to her again. Where's Marina, Auntie Ethel? Come on, don't be like that. Hello, sweetness. I'm still waiting for someone with a spare eye. Ta -ta, Hold up. Come see your auntie soon. <laughs> She's such a hypocrite. <laughs> such a bitch. Alright, let's um but if I kill her I can get all her That's stuff, right? Oh she's right here. Thief? I didn't I didn't steal anything. Nah, it wasn't me. Theft has been reported, and it seems you're the only suspect. Choose your next step wisely. <laughs> Fuck. I'll uh, hand over the stolen hand arms. Over the spoils of your pilfering. No harm done. Fine. It was just stupid shit. Alright, let me talk to her. I'm gonna steal all her shit anyway. Hello, sweet I'm hey, bitch. For what happened to Marina? Did you do something to her? No. What is that? What happened? What was that? Things an illusion we could get through here. What are you talking about? Get through where? <gasps> oh, through here. Whoa, shit. Wait, wait, wait. There's so much shit around here. Let me just, um... Come on. Woo! It's only a difficulty class 2. Damn. Let's get it. The fuck is that? Arcane barrier. Hands off pedal. If not over, through. Holy okay. shit. I'm too tall for this. Oh. 
Where is she? Where's she at? <laughs> she poop is rough. Alright, enter. I don't know where she is. Fuck. Oh, there she is. That is fucking weird. Ugh. What the fuck? Wooden stairs. Overgrown tunnel. Don't look, don't look. Alright, hold up. This fuck. <laughs> this is weird. Lauren. What the fuck is all this? Alright, hold up. We got a long rest. Yeah, let's just long rest real quick. You can't have fast travel? <gasps> oh no. Alright, hold up. Before we head in there. Alright, let me follow up with the guys. Alright, Gail. What the heck's wrong with you now, man? Again? With your bullshit? My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. Must consume another artifact. Oh, well, I like ignoring you. I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, you can take um the speedy reply. Even though it looks cool. It's not very powerful. The Wizard of Water be deep. Okay, well you gotta you gotta watch out, bro. Watch out for that shit. The good I gods, indeed, Mistra. Mistra, have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. <laughs> this better be good. Uh, go, go, on, go on, go on. You have to know who I was. You have to know yes, I do. I really am. I've been trying to. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. And what one mm. might call a wizard prodigy. You from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess. Mystery. Goddess. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Okay. Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? We enjoyed <laughs> each other's <laughs> Okay. Mind and soul. But even so, I desired more. See, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the mm. wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. I applaud your ambition. Not, I think my methods I tried to convince her I pouted I pleaded pouted I my ambition was only to serve her better she only smiled and told me to be contented inconceivable as it seems to me now I shared a bed with a goddess yet I wasn't satisfied so I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead we come now to the crux of my folly you shouldn't I share the story behind it or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale I uh, just Very keep well. going let's have all the deeds once upon a very long time ago a mighty lord lived in a tower a flying tower to be precise I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. He almost mm. managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him Netheril. as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. Fractured. And shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A, 
Netherese tone in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? <laughs> you ruled out flowers and chocolates. And what was your answer? The answer was to try. The outcome was to fail. I was certain mm. this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. What? Whoa. What's going on? You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in. Into the dark. Into the dark. Eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bowed and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages. Only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pulses. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry? How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, mm. it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. How can we fix you up? Oh, go on. It will erupt. The hmm. exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Unbelievable. Did you ever think what would happen if the tadpole got the better of you? Every waking moment. Every dreaming moment, too. But there was no way out. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word. And we'll part ways. Nah, it's fine. We've come this far together and we'll continue to be together. That's how a it'll great be. Relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Good. All right, Will. The new devil. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's face. Oh, the Grand Duke. Then Floric's face as she tells you of Ravenguard's abduction. Hells. Older Ravenguard's been taken. Yes. Set fire to the inn and stole away the Duke. Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Ravenguard is my father. Ah. Uh. I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride. Not least for him. All my time in Baldur's Gate, and they didn't even know Ravenguard had Just children. One. Yours truly. My father and I were close once upon a time, until he disowned me and cast me out of Baldur's Gate. I can't tell you more. The pact forbids it. My lips are quite literally sealed. Hmm. He made me an exile. That said, 
I'm not about to let him suffer at the hands of his captors. What do you think the drone wants with your father? The same question. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason hmm. to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. Well, yeah, you shouldn't keep secrets like this from me. And you're right. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers. A man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravengard. A Will Ravengard. A man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade, not the shadow he left behind. Is I'm there anything forward. else to talk about? I don't know. Where's his tea? Here he is. He doesn't have anything to say. Huh. Kale. What's up, man? What's that? What's what you doing? Who's that? Mr. <laughs> it's attracting mosquitoes. <laughs> what is who is that? Startled me. I uh, it's miles away. Who is Someone she? I miss and lost. I suppose. <laughs> Mistra commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow or withhold. And yet, even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic hmm. is my life. I've been in touch right. with the weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression Power. through the senses. Would you like to experience hmm. this? Sure. Follow my lead. What? Now you. So the best one would actually be sleight of hand. Decisively. Let's do that. Sleight of hand. Okay. Damn. Okay. Oh, it actually happened. You feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. <laughs> Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athran Mistra Real Kantrak Eo. You sense power in these words. Speak them deliberately. I guess that's the best one I can do, honestly. Arcana. Wisdom plus one. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony, as true as you can. Picture a place of utter peace, away from all harm and the mayhem of civilization. Ah, of course. Critical failure. No, I'm sorry. But it looks like magic's not on the cards tonight. Perhaps I'm not quite the teacher I fancy myself to be. In any case, don't blame yourself. Mistra can be a fickle mistress. Coy to a T. Good night. Is that it? Just no. No second tries. 
Guess we'll go back to sleep, I guess. Full rest. Uh, I guess we'll just go back to leave camp. And continue fighting this chick. Oh, Shadowheart. What's up? There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. I'm all ears. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tap. Okay. The connection. Come into my mind. That sounds weird. <laughs> that sounded weird. Uh, just the wrong way. Are you sure? I'm sure. We need consent. I trust you. Oh. Well, that's nice. Okay, use the parasite. Ugh. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. Fleeing? Is she a kid? Oh, there. That's her, her scar. She got scratched. She's by herself. Wolfie. A drow. Is that a drow? What is that? Oh, they took her in? Saluna's followers to send their children into the woods alone. A rite of passage to find their way home. Perhaps this one has gone awry. Yeah, we'll do this. You look like you were wearing a moonstone. Isn't that commonly worn by Selunites? You're reading too much into things. A childhood bauble, that's all. Just because Selunites claim something doesn't mean they own it. Okay. Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me, trained me, punished me when I failed her. Which was often. You must have been important. Perhaps I was. She sent me on this mission after all. Alright, girls. Let's do this shit. 